Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's it going, everybody? How are you guys doing today? So, we're doing a fun video. We're doing a little glacial augment. Frozen Forest Cane. We're going to be doing brand new build, brand new everything. Well, we're going to keep the same old, uh, what do you call it? What's the occasion? Uh, Blue Smite Warrior. What oh, boots sounds cool? Well, if I want to slow them. I don't think my boots matters. Uh, I'll probably go... Probably Tabby. They got a lot of auto attackers. I'll go Blue Smite, Warrior, Tabby. I'll get a little Triforce just to make me fast and damagey. You know, it's a Frozen Force build, so you gotta have an item that has Force in it. And then we're gonna go Frozen Mallet. Uh, whether items give slows. I know that one thing slows them down. Twin Shadows. I don't have any AP. I can just go like kind of movement speed. Oh, I can go Righteous Glory after. Smart. Okay, I don't... Oh, but we're gonna need MR. Uh, let me think. I don't know. Why is my screen locked? Thanks, thanks. Be right back. Gotta get my coffee. Ain't no problem, buddy. Alright, let's see. So, obviously, yes, this is on the PB. I didn't want to test this out in solo queue because I don't have any, uh... I don't have any low elo accounts. All I have is, like, Challenger... But master and grandmaster accounts but i did want to try out these runes anyway just see how they are glacial augment and the build is just kind of for fun i thought it was a cool idea let's we'll see how well it works just remember no matter how well i do i'm not playing against challenger players so there's a good chance i'm gonna do well no matter what but i'll tell you my honest opinion of how good it, it feels i don't want to be too clickbaity you know I mean, survival of the fittest. Clickbait or be clickbaited. Anyone who knows the real me, baby, knows that, uh, you know, boys got nutty win rates. Nah, but let's see. Enough bragging. It's just memes. Just memes. Doing this path thing. Look for an early gank. But it looks like my mid's already popping off. Uh, we're against a Gnar jungle. I think Augment's actually going to be pretty good for a Gnar jungle. I want to do this path thing just to kind of look for an early gank or something. Thought that'd be a good idea. Uh, let's see. Okay, this guy did his entire bot side. Wow. So he's just full clearing. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder which form I should go. I think I'm just gonna go whichever form I get first. See, I was thinking maybe I could do blue, maybe I could do red. I think red would be more smart because a glacial augment obviously gives that huge slow. And if they're slowed down and I'm Ross, they can't really get away from me. As opposed to blue can, you don't really want to slow them, you want to be fast. You know. Alright, let's get the skittle. Nar should be at the top skittle since if he did his entire bot side, means he'll be around over there. Yeah, gotta have good logic to it. Alright. This should be a gankable land. Brand flashed. Alright, let's see how good the ganks are on this run. Okay, nice, nice. Hit him with that double slow. With the augment into the W. Got a good amount of orbs. Oh, sorry, he might be going blue cane. Oh, shoot, we'll see. There's the Gnar. Showing his little head. Okay. From this camp, and then when I reset, I'll come back and get the raptors because they're gonna respawn in about like tw uh, 20 seconds. Remember, all these camps takes two and a half minutes to respawn. The buffs take five minutes to respawn. So if you ever want to farm your camp when they spawn, it's a way to go about it. Honest try, but it's close. I, I do see the ward. He's not wrong. I think it's cool running the inspiration page. Some of you may or may not know this. I actually run Untilled's Bubble a, a, a couple of games in, uh, in high elo, actually. Challenger elo. Every now and then, I'll run Untilled's Bubble. I really like Magical Footwear, Futures Market, and Cosmic Insight for Kane. This entire page feels really nice. But, yeah, Spellbook feels really good. Maybe I'll make another video on that since the last one... People, they weren't sure if it was like a serious thing or not. It really is, and it's very viable. And it does need a bit of explaining to do, because it's kind of complex. You know, I mean, Spellbook just gives you spells, but you have to know when to take which spells and kind of how to. 
A lot of people are worried to take it because they don't really know when to take which spells. So if I can give you guys some insight on that. But we're doing augment right now. So maybe there'll be another video. If you guys are interested, be sure to comment down below. Alright, let's see. Let's go, uh, go for another gank here, I suppose. It's forced up, my boy. Come on, no fear. They just saw me, actually. Yeah. Poked his head out a little farther. Oh, never mind. Nice one, Talon. Good setup for me. Oh, yeah, looks like we're gonna go blue. To be fair, they have four range and one melee. I wasn't too sure if it was gonna be a red game. I mean, Augment with blue sounds pretty cool. I think red would probably be better, if I had to be honest. I think red would definitely be better. Because, like I said, red, you kind of want to stay on top of them. Blue, you kind of want to run away from them. Oh, man. They got a lot of movement speed there. Oh, man. I forgot that last auto off. We got our form, though. That's really worth Sorry if I'm not playing too well, by the way, guys. I messed up my hand. <laughs> I've been meaning to get this video done for a while, but I messed up my hand. Like, I know it probably sounds like an excuse, but no, nah, I messed up my hand, like, when I was working out. Yeah, it's subtle brag that I work out. Forehead. <laughs> nah, I actually just started working out not so long ago, like a week or two. And I, I didn't stretch properly. So... I'm gonna try my try and play my best, boys. I'll try and play my best here. Let me let me try my best here. Let's uh let's see how well we can do. No more mistakes. I want to take this serious because this is actually really cool. Uh, cool build, cool play style, everything. I want to make sure I don't mess it up. All right. Let's go gank top, I think. My vein's putting this guy in the ground. This new Pantheon looks so cool, man. I can't wait to play him. I have yet to play him yet. Thank you. For the assist. Yeah, my W doesn't do much damage. Get someone level one. I'll start leveling it up probably now. So we'll get Triforce first and then Frozen Mallet. Sweet. I really, honestly, I like this slow. It feels pretty nice. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I might be trying this out more than once, you know. Let me just ult so the brand art doesn't bounce back and forth. Sweet. Okay. Because uh, brand does a lot of damage, even if he's blind. Oh, he's letting me have the farm. Okay. Hey, thanks, buddy. Friendship. Friendship. Smiley face. Oh, I forget. YouTube chat's different than Twitch chat. When you're streaming on Twitch, you can type like friendship and they'll type little emotes like people happy or put a little smiley face in the chat. On YouTube, you say friendship, they just call you weird. Hey man, why are you being so weird? Sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get the Infernal. This will help our damage a lot. Honestly, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I kinda like Glacial. The build's gonna be a bit of a meme. I've I mean I think Triforce is a good idea on Blue King personally. Frozen Mallet and Triforce can be really good on Blue King because of how much mobility and all that you have. I really, really think that's not a bad idea at all. Now, am I gonna say it's a like, you know, one of the best builds you can go? No. But it definitely has its benefits. Like it actually makes a lot of sense. Cause the CDR, the movement speed the damage the attack speed's a little bit well the attack speed goes well with the glacial augment actually and then the frozen mallet as well so you could just keep slowing them and slowing them and then i would say i should probably get um some mr is there any mr items that like slow or get movement speed i want something cool i mean i'll probably just go visage to be honest and then i'll go righteous glory for the memes all right i think i'll go moby boots our, no, 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 I have an idea. I'll go. Actually, I want to go Mobius. <laughs> Alright, sweet. 
Like, I was thinking about Swifties, but I was like, nah. Sounds lame. I like Mobies. It's my favorite for blue. People like Sork Boots. They're obsessed with Sork Boots, man. Nah, I don't know why. The Frozen Force King. Holy moly. I'm gonna go make this brand very dissatisfied. If you're a cane player, you must become a bully. And you must KS every kill. Alright, Talon, me and you will 2v3 them. Not too weak, to be honest. Oh, man. Adds the 845 damage right there. Yeah, I underestimated his damage a lot. And I missed my W on Kaylin because I thought she was going to run towards Yumi so Yumi can go inside. So that was kind of a zoning W. Because I didn't actually need the damage to kill her, but um, I don't think I could have played that Gnar fight better. He's kind of strong with the, the build he's got. He's full damage. I respect it, honestly. I like the build. It's cool. All right. Let's get the blue orb. People never really ask me why I get blue orb on this because my cam usually covers the, the trinket. But yeah, on blue can, I really like blue orb. I never explained this. I really like blue orb because when you're playing blue can, your E is such a low CD time, six seconds. And this is with 25% um, of the year. So it's such a low CD time that you're always walking through the walls. So you're not really walking in bushes to sweep them, you know? And then obviously you have dust blade most of the time. So your dust blade picks up a lot of the wards that you do want to see. And then. Um, Blue Orb's very good for scouting as an assassin to make picks. It's really good, so it just has perfect synergy with Blue Can, in my opinion. Okay. Um, ouchie. Okay. That guy's gonna chase me. Oh, it appears it'll be I who's chasing him. No! Sheen proc wasn't enough for me. Oh. Huh. Never played against that champion before. GG. Why are they saying GG? What happened? Are they giving up? Weenies. Don't worry, boys. You want to see some insane plays? The Triforce is almost a coming. And when it comes, I'm going to go crazy on him. Alright? So let's see. The boy's going to be going in. Vayne got that. It's really good. It means that we all have the scaling. Because we can easily take towers like in 4 or 5 minutes in. Once you get all the first tier 1 towers down, you can just start shoving making good good plays so i'm gonna get triforce right now and just try try and see how much force we can get i'll show you guys something really insane when you get a lot of cdr and cane you get your mana and then you just pop it off watch ready let me go to this blue buff i'll show you guys right now this is something that i mean hey listen if you know how to do it you know how to do it i don't know if we're gonna make it all the way to frozen mallet for this video i wanted to you know obviously the slows this the mixing of slows it's a cool idea it's a cool video but um i don't know if we're gonna get that far because my team is popping it off all right but either way let's kill this little gnar and then we'll go get the blue buff and i'll show you guys something crazy that is gonna move into his <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you i've been playing in challenger all day now playing this elo people don't really move how i expect them to you know when i throw my skill shots See, the good thing about having the Sheen, it gives you that extra burst of damage when you proc it with the Triforce. So I really like that, honestly. That was really good. So now you guys ready for the crazy part? Instead of farming camps and farming CS, you farm champions. With your E, you literally just E from top to bot, to bot to top, to top to bot. Over and over and over and over. And you just go. Okay, that was grief. Okay. go over there sorry like i said w's i'm used to people doing other movements that was kind of just throwing out my w to throw my w i don't know why i did that one but your boy is gonna go murder this guy now 
Because look at my ECD time. People don't really know how to abuse this properly. A 45 CDR blue buff ECD time. So you just go from top to bot to bot to top to top to bot to... And then you just keep going and going and going. And then you got the slow. And then you got the kill. And then you got the gnar. He's trying to run. Hey. I'm inevitable. Alright, if you're wondering why my E cancel there. If you are in combat in the last 1.5 seconds. Then you'll get knocked out of your E. So 1.5 seconds is up. Go in. Wow, that hit me. And now we go back. This is why blue buffs are so important, boys. If uh, anyone on your team ever says, Yo, can I have blue? Say hell no when you're playing blue cane. Ross is similar, but look at this. I love the slows. It makes them like impossible to get me. I like Glacial Ogma, honestly. Triforce feels pretty good too with blue cane. I've actually never tried tri Triforce on blue cane. I, I, I think I've tried on Ross before. It's not too bad, but Cleaver's just insane. But, no, I've never tried Triforce on Blue King. This actually feels pretty good, not gonna lie to you. The only thing is how expensive it is, is the issue. But, I mean, I don't know. If you can afford it, this is... I don't know. Do you guys ever build this item? Let me know. So, I'm gonna go get my blue buff now. So, it's kind of just like resetting blue buffs. Take... It, I take theirs, and then I take mine. Okay. It looks like they're pretty done, though, in this game. You can't really do much. I get another blue buff. Hey, what the? Man. Let's wait up for this item. Seems like their team is uh, having a bit of issues. Alright, let me try my frozen mallet. So if you're wondering why I'm not going to take my blue here, it's because I don't want to waste my blue timer because like I said, I'm just going to E around. So if I do blue, I reset, and then I come back, my blue is going to be gone. Like, most of it's going to be gone. Like, resetting and coming back to the map. As opposed to if I reset now, and then I go back, get the blue, and then I go fight them, I'll have it for a long time. So boys, the Frozen Force Cane build. Obviously, I don't need to wait for mana because I'm going to get the blue buff. And then yeah, I'm just running around crazy crazy like a maniac obviously uh, let's see i would probably get righteous glory for my next item for the for the memes you know the content all right let's see how crazy this build is let's go see if we can hit him with a 1v5 honestly i like triforce i've never tried this before on blue cane and i like glacial augment it feels I i'm gonna try it out more to be honest maybe i'll make another more non meme -y video more serious Oh, I see you now. Okay. Oh, yes, The Rock. Dwayne Johnson, thank you so much. I'm your biggest fan. Look how elusive and slippery I am. Ow. Come on. Ow. Get away from me. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It makes you really tanky as well. I mean, I like it. How do you grow so big? I saw you. Wait, what do you say? I saw you had like 300 viewers like I don't know eight months ago. Now you get like 3k at least. Oh, he means for tw Twitch. Well, Talon. He was, he was messaging me about the videos as well. Well, Talon, when you watch this video when it's live. Thanks for playing so well on my team, buddy. And also, um, the way that I grew was... Um, well, I told my mom and dad about my stream, so they watch me every day. So that's an extra two viewers. And for the other ones, I don't know. Nice. Alrighty, let's get the Righteous Glory. OP, am I right? Please report brand. Feels bad, man. See, so yeah, this is a really good strategy for pretty much any game. If you can continuously take their blue and your blue, you just run around like a maniac with your E. Look at how low my CD time is, boys. Four seconds on my E. And look at how fast you move. And you heal like 200 HP per E. 
That's insane, man. That's absolutely insane. You can try out this little play style. I think it's really, really good. Let's see how well Glacial's done first. 46 is a lot, honestly. Alright, let's go. Uh... Oh, it actually hit me. Nardus, a lot of damage. Oh, he went Nasher's Tooth. Okay, I see now. I see now. Wait, we're actually going to get a lot of items. Wait, let's go. Wait, no, too many people don't like people saying let's go. I forget. Dude, I say let's go once people are like, oh, so cringe. Can't believe I ever watched this guy. Come on. I need a new catchphrase. Hey, well done, my teammates. Yeah, there you go. Better catchphrase. All right, let's... We don't need to do Baron to end. See, okay, here's one thing I learned. No matter how ahead you are, no matter how ahead you are, you cannot win with one inhib down unless the enemy team just gives up. There's no possible way. You cannot win with... Okay, this guy's ending. Wait, he did so much damage for someone with literally a troll build. Wait, he does... Okay, that champion has some... Has some balance issues. We'll talk about that another time. Um... You need to get at least two inhibs to end the game. And that's 100%. Oh, Aha! Nice try. See, this guy's trolling, so now we can end. Look at that, it's slow! <laughs> all right well hope you boys enjoyed the video i'll be trying to upload more sorry if i'm not as energized sorry if i didn't play as good you know my hand hurts i'm tired i'm gonna go take a nappy either way if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and a sub thanks so much for watching guys once again peace out youtube